Most viruses make you sick. But now researchers in California have discovered one that you may not be so quick to avoid. This virus film connected to two electrodes might someday power your smartphone. So this is our first virus-based piezoelectric nanogenerators. So therefore, it is composed of the thin films virus, virus thin films, and two electrodes that interconnected with the, on the top and then bottoms, and then connected with the SD panels. So therefore, if we push devices, whenever we apply the force and then release it, it turn on and off the electricity. Scientists tested a virus that only infects other bacteria and poses no harm to humans or animals, and found it's capable of generating a charge when pressed. Then they genetically engineered it to increase its voltage. Each virus can quickly replicate itself for a never-ending supply. In near futures, we believe that we can develop a personalized electric generators, so which is uh, all our mechanical movement in our daily life, like such as walking. Jogging and typing, that kind of mechanical movement can be picked up by these thin film devices and convert to electric generators. Scientists say the generator is biocompatible and can pick up human heartbeats as an energy source, then convert it to electrical energy that could be used as an alternative to batteries in pacemakers. What we have shown now is that、uh, mainly that the viruses are piezoelectric, so the power output is still.、Uh, Quite low, and not enough to drive a lot of、uh, large-scale microelectronic devices. The dying mobile phone battery may soon be a thing of the past. With generators like these, the movement of our bodies may become our most dependable power source. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.